the word navigation. Navigate, navigating, whatever, whatever we use it. That is the word that has been stuck on my mouth and my mind lately. And it's not a word that I used that I usually use or regularly use. It's like a new word to my vocabulary. I mean, I've heard it, but for the scenario and situation we're living in, I didn't realize I was using it like, oh, how are you doing? I'm navigating, you know? Um, how are you, you know, like with plans and everything, I'm navigating. And because I'm such a huge word person, like word nerd, love words, love the definition, <laughs> love looking that up in synonyms, I obviously looked it up. And the word navigate means to plan and direct the route or course of a ship, of a plane or an aircraft, or any other type of transportation using instruments or maps. And it can also be used to describe traveling, you know, with careful, being careful, or traveling through something that's difficult, which I think is really accurate depiction of right now. And so I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my plans have changed beyond out of my control. You know, I had a lot of plans and I kept still trying to make plans <laughs> and they kept changing. Um, but I thought the word navigating is such a great word for right now because that is what a lot of us are trying to do. Some of us might feel like we're doing it a little bit more effectively than others, but I think we're all trying to navigate. That could be navigating through emotions. That could be, you know, navigating through, um, you know, job loss or, you know, family that's vulnerable or you're vulnerable or just, you know, just not being able to go outside or do stuff or, you know, uh, businesses. There's just so much, you know, that we're navigating through. And it made me think about, you know, if you've flown more than a couple of times, I get to fly a lot, which I'm grateful, which is kind of hard right now because I can't go anywhere, but, um, you know, you have a pilot and a plane and you have a destination. You know, you got on the plane to go somewhere. The pilot knows where he's taking you or he or she knows where they're taking you and they have a course of action. They have a plan, but, and sometimes they can anticipate weather, they know what's happening, but sometimes they can't and that's beyond their control. And if you've ever been in a plane, sometimes the pilot's like, hey guys, I anticipate we're about to hit some turbulence, like hold on, we have to go through it. Like, you know, I've had some pilots who are just like, we gotta go through it and it's all shaky and you sometimes feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> um, but then sometimes the pilot's like, hey guys, anticipating some turbulence, I'm either gonna flow, you know, go drop below this many thousand feet or I'm gonna raise this up thousand feet to try and avoid it, you know, to navigate around it. And they're using tools, they're using instruments, they're using their training. And they can't control the weather, but they can control how they show up with the plane. You know, they can, they do are controlling how they maneuver the plane. And so, you know, directing, you know, how navigating means to direct, a, you know, plan or course of transportation guess what, we are our transportation, our bodies, our minds, our actions. That is what we are using to uh, move through this life. And life is still happening, guys. You know, life is still happening. And so, you know, just like a pilot uses instruments and tools, we can use instruments and tools. And that can vary from anything. You know, that can vary from your past experiences. It can be the tool of, you know, self-awareness. It can be your Bible. It can be um, a mentor. It can be, there's just so many countless tools. You know, goal setting. There can be, you know, morning rituals. You know, I'm using my own tools that I use. Um, and, and one tool that I do use that I've used for the last four and a half years is a wheel of life. And that is to evaluate my life, to constantly assess my life. And I use it quarterly and I set my goals off of it. And every quarter I revisit it, say, you know, how am I feeling in each area? Tweak some goals, maybe some goals move up a little higher, some plans or whatever. Well, <laughs> you know, the life wheels changed for me this past month because things have changed, you know, what I'm able to do, what's going on. And so I did a life wheel just for the time that we're in you know, for the month of April, where I knew I was, you know, quarantined, locked down, um, 
to have goals, to have a focus of how I want to show up during this time because life hasn't stopped. And even, you know, a lot of our goals and dreams, yeah, maybe some of them are on hold. Maybe some of them look different now. Um, so it was important to get really re, you know, real about how can I grow and thrive during this time. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, it's, a, like I said, a great tool regardless. Next Thursday, I'm going to be doing a live class, free online class for us all to just hang out, learn the tool, share. And actually, you know, it's a tool for forever. You can keep using it, but you can use it specifically for this time to be like, okay, what would it look like for me to thrive in this time and that looks different for everybody i'm not trying to push on anybody what mine looks like it's about you getting clear on what yours looks like so i hope that you join in there's a link either in the bio or below or somewhere and come ready to hang out and learn and grow together